as far as getting like milk, dairy products, eggs, those kind of things, it's definitely, I haven't seen it in any of the stores that I've been in. Um, and in fact, the, some of the stores that normally would carry like good cheeses and that kind of stuff, those counters have all been cleared out. And, you know, I think they're a little smelly <laughs> at this point. Nobody's down here helping people out. You, you just wish that your elected officials would come down and help. It was devastated. Never seen nothing like this. Only on TV from other states. We lived in Charleston, South Carolina for 21 years. And in the hurricanes we've been through down there, a lot of tree damage, house damage. Uh, but now to go into supermarkets and see them bare, that's when you realize it is bad. It is bad. This has been a wake-up call to me about how many people are in need and where a crisis like this hits, how all of a sudden they just don't have the type of resources to fall back on that most of us take for granted. You really kind of have to go out of town. I mean, if you want to eat pretzels and potato chips, you know, that's pretty easy to get. But any real staples like fresh uh, milk and eggs, you pretty much have to go to the BJ's in Jersey City or the Price Club, Costco, uh, either up this way or out in Secaucus is pretty much the only thing that I know of. But fresh little things, bread and that's tough to get. Yeah, I've been here waiting in line since 7.30 this morning. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon now. We're going to see more and more as climate change continues to get worse. Um, so what we need to be doing is spending money not just to, to mitigate and adapt to these problems, but our politicians need to act.